<laughs> what is up, Traveler Nation? I'm your host, Keller. Come say, let's get right into the news. Um, don't know who the fuck this is, but uh, for our first news story of the day, a lot of news today, folks. A lot of news for our first, first, first story today. Uh, y and W Melly, also known as Melvin. Smiles and says that I'm go coming home after getting a new court date for October 9th. So let's go ahead and see what uh your y'all boy is talking about real quick. That's what he said. Y'all can y'all can hear y'all y'all can see him. Now I'm not gonna hold you. He's been saying I've been, I'm coming home for the past like since like I was in high school type shit. So um, KK coming home next. KK is never coming home. I'm not gonna lose you, but hating bad. Um, we'll see what happens. Do you think Melly's getting out? Let us know down in the comments uh, below. For our next, next, next story today, today, today. Female teacher, seventy-four years old, was reported having sexual relations with a Bro. student, and she is charged Bro. with six hundred years in prison. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> She's getting 600 years in prison after repeatedly having relations with a 14-year-old at a Wisconsin private school. I'm not gonna hold you. They didn't even need to give her 600. I'm not gonna hold you. At least like 12 would have. 12 would have did the job. I'm not nah, gonna capture you. 600 is valid. 12, 12 would have did the job. I'm not I'm gonna hold you. I'd be lie. surprised if, if five is enough. I'm not gonna hold you. Like. I'm not gonna lie. If one thing then change, it's every time you go to news, like every other time, there's one of these cases. Yeah, it's it's actually it's actually very 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 ridiculous. But yeah, it's GG's for her. Uh, my they just give her life. They're, she's not making it six hundred. I don't. I've never seen no six hundred year <laughs> type story. <laughs> six hundred years is crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. She must she must have a little bit more under her belt. She got six hundred years. I'm not gonna hold you. That's tough. Nobody nobody's living that. Um, but that's tough. That's tough. For our next, next, next story today, today, today. Man's mugshot goes viral after getting arrested. What? Now, is let us know down below. Do you think he's snitching? Give me a one if yes, a two if no. Now, I don't think this man is snitching. I just think he's going through some kind of like, he, he's snitching. But, but, <laughs> but, but at least... <laughs> what, man? I, I don't know to be honest. He's probably from Florida. He's probably from. He's probably from Florida. I'm not going. Got wits. Or, he's a, or he's from Florida. Florida. They don't count. But I'm not going to lose you. This this man's going through right now. I'm not going to lose you. So I don't see a single two in chat. That's crazy. What, what do you think he's saying? That's the real question. I'm legally blind. I cannot see. <laughs> he's saying. He's saying one of those. Bro's devastated. So we're gonna go ahead and keep you updated on that story. We'll probably never talk about that story ever again. But Wendy's manager created a fake employee. And pocketed wages of over 20k. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't even know how this is possible to make up a fake employee and take 20k of the wages. What the fuck? But that's kind of tough. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know whoever whoever did this need to. They got AI employee. Whoever did this need to like invest in like forex or something or like something like that. I ain't gonna hold you because I don't even know how this is possible. But obviously they got caught up. So was that 20k worth it? Probably not. But. Uh, yeah, shout out to Wendy's though, you know what I'm saying? I need a 4 for 4 as we speak. I ain't gonna capture you, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's tough, that's tough, that's tough. For our next, next, next story. Um, we already talked about the Drake fan who had who the 36G bra who on stage who revealed that Drake is giving her advice with fame. But I want y'all to know, we don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna hold you. For our next, next, next oh, story no, today. Oh no, no, I knew you were going to click that one. Costco worker claims higher ups body shamed her and told her she needed to wear bigger clothes and apparently, uh, due to her apparently uh, distracting curves. Me personally, I see no problem here. I'm not going to hold you. The uniform is, is up to code. Um, Uniform is up to code. Didn't she get you know a BBL saying? chat? Did she? I, I don't I'm know who sure. this is. But I think the uniform is the uniform is up to code. You know what I'm saying? People, I don't know why Costco hates so hard. But people are saying she got a BBL just to work at Costco's. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, bro said in the comments, y'all better not let Shaq see this. Y'all know Shaq going oh DM. Oh my fucking god! Like I got called into the office because. Oh yeah, that's the part where I gotta see. I'm following oh, dress code. 
But my body shape is too much. I don't see. I don't see. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like this is. This is look like. It. This look like it's uniform I'm policy to me. Dress code. Making them pants is not but uniform policy. Because that's the fashion I might pants. have people uh, following that's, that's me. You, that's uniform policy. Pajamas. That does look like some fashion over pants. On my it, it I'm that's... quite literally sure it is because people are going to harass on TikTok. That low key do look like some fashion over pants, but. Hey, it's uniform policy because I said it's uniform policy. You know what I'm saying? So shout hey, out to you horned up bad. You hey, bro, you like yourself. I'm just, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? That's horned just, up. Uh, for our next, next, I'm next, next round, man. For our next story, you know fucking what? <laughs> a live action Monopoly movie oh, is officially in the works. Don't know who asked for this. I don't know how they're yeah. gonna convey a live Monopoly movie. You wanna see that? Um, I'm not gonna lose you. I still haven't seen the Mario movie or the Sonic movie, so I'm behind on movies. So hey, I definitely will be on, seeing that. I still There's have not seen that. I still have not seen Sonic him. 2. Still have not seen him. I'm not gonna lose you. I haven't seen no movie that's come out in the past six months except Spider Man. I'm not gonna lose you. Right. But one's in the chat for me to rip this man out the movie. Mario movie fire. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna get to it though. I don't Monopoly, watch Mario movie. Monopoly movie will not be getting. Monopoly movie will not be getting watched though. I'm gonna lie, y'all. Gonna yeah. watch Spider Man. For our next, next, next story today, 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 a 87-year-old fends off home intruder and offers him snacks to distract him. I've never seen this type of tactic before, but uh, shout out to this 87-year-old woman from Brunswick, Maine. Y'all committing crimes in Maine? What the, committing a crime in Maine is like... What are y'all doing? Oh, they got a man. What the fuck going on in me? You haven't heard nothing going on in me. Phantom break in. Yo, Loki, well, Loki was the Phantom tax. He just, he just, he just pulled up and, and, and just wanted to see what type of time it was on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to make sure Maine was straight. Bro, what the fuck is going is on? Phantom in tax Maine? coming back or they're doing Phantom tax return? Uh, no, Phantom, Phantom tax is still coming back. That joint, that joint is still, still. Uh, I thought he was doing tax return. No, nah, he ain't doing no that that joint no more. I ain't gonna lose you. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he went back on what he said. Um, Phantom tax in jail. I'm not gonna lose you. Um, if Phantom did get arrested, which I'm pretty sure he's out now, that Phantom tax, he's still taking food in jail. I'm not going to lose you, bro. No, he's so, not. If Phantom try to tax somebody in jail. He's taxing, bro. No, he's he's taxing, bro. He's well, taxing, bro. He, well, actually, he might. He's, he's from New York. He's from New York. He, he, he got food. He is taxing people in there. You know what I'm saying? He's out, though. He's out, though, now, though. Um, you taxing people in jail? If you was in jail? Um. 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 Yeah, you getting taxed. Um. By me. Um. Right now, hey man, back back. What the fuck? Oh, uh, okay. Now for weather report. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part. Weather today, today, today. Uh, uh so <laughs> weather. Phantom hit a taxi. This is what weather's looking like. So, chat, if you're interested in weather, it is lowering down in temperatures. You know what I'm saying? Slowly. But surely, you know what I'm saying? So it is still hot in various areas in 70s and 80s, but it is lowering down the temperatures. Um, you know what I'm saying? Right now, it should be in 60s in some areas. If you're in the south, specifically Texas, it is still in the 90s, but we are kind of uh, leaving the uh, uh, hundreds in certain areas. So if you are in Texas, you should be like less hot. You know what I'm saying? Like low key, low key. Now, is it still hot? Yeah, but. It is going down in temperature slowly but surely, so it isn't as hot as it was 4th of July weekend to uh, the end of July. So hopefully August will go ahead and show us a couple uh, colder weather going on, but it won't get fully cold. It might just get slightly less hot. So it is still hot in some areas. It is still very, very humid, so do understand that you cannot wear bubble coats, New York. Fuck that. Wear bubble coat. Do not wear bubble coats. Be right. What's the worst that can happen? You have heat stroke. But, be right. um, he stroke ain't never hurt nobody. <laughs> but, um, we're gonna go ahead and just let you guys know that just continue to dress lightly. Continue to dress lightly. Um, and for traffic, traffic, uh, seems to be calming down as of now just because it's late. If you're in New York, though, I'm not gonna hold you. Don't even start driving, bro. It's like <laughs> you might as well walk. Area where you need to go, at least for today, bro. Especially if you're in the Manhattan area, just bro, just go walk. Don't even, don't even go take no, no, 
take no bus, don't take no taxi, don't take no Lyft, don't take no Uber. The subway gotta go, go do what you gotta go do on those, but you just, just walk, bro, I'm not gonna hold you. Just go ahead and walk. Um, Cause it's not safe out there, I'm not gonna hold you. The riots is getting insane, crazy out there. I just seen at least 25 butt naked men run across the street and just rob Ock for all his big egg and cheeses. So it just to go, it just goes to show you that traffic ain't nothing to play light with out there. And if you out there, um, it is priority that you stay inside and mind your own business. You know what I'm saying? Um, but regardless, I'm Keller Cumstain signing out. Y'all have a good night. I'm out.